Hello, Libra. Welcome to your 2019 six-month overview. Thank you so much for tuning in. So um, in this reading, I'm going to be doing a quick uh, forecast for the first six months of 2019. So this is January through June. Um, for this, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be pulling a major arcana from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. I'm going to be pulling one of those for each month, January through June. Um, I will be referring to the book a little bit as this is a fairly new deck to me. I've had it for a while. I just haven't really been using it. But then I'm going to get some clarification for each month from the Tarot. And for that, I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot. Okay. Now, keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. I do offer these for personal consumption. Yes. So with that said, let's get into it for Libra. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a, cha a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us an accurate, accurate representation of what Libra can expect in the upcoming first six months of 2019. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, I just want to let you guys know, if you hear some music in the background, that's just my neighbors having a good old time. Okay. <laughs> Libra, let's see what we've got for you. So for January, January for you, Libra. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's try that again. January, please. Libra, January 2019. We have perception. Okay. Uh, all right. And so... Uh, uh, Right away, right off the bat, I'm feeling a lot of your own um, balancing energy here, Libra. Some of you may be going through an awareness um, activation, a change in perspective, a change in perception. You might be seeing things a little clearer than you would have in the past or than you did in the past. Um, you might be coming to terms with some things in January. You really may be also taking a hard look at what you want to accomplish over the year almost like a new year's resolution type situation oh um let's see okay february for you libra wisdom all right march for libra 2019 march for libra 2019 sun moon rising and venus thought very interesting okay uh next we have april for libra 2019 april april 2019 for libra for libra april uh oh let's see let's see let's see libra 2019 april Ooh -hoo -hoo. abundance okay may Desire and June. The crone. All right. So the crone has been coming out for <laughs> damn near all the signs, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of common energies and which actually, you know, that makes that totally makes perfect sense because um, we do have, you know, sun, moon, rising and Venus that we're doing here. And so uh, energies are shared. But it's looking like uh, the first three months of the year for you, Libra, are going to be very mental in nature, which is your domain. Um, and it's really going to be setting you up. Setting you up to, um, you know, realize and accept some sort of abundance within your life, which is going to, you know, set you on a course of reconnecting with your desires, it looks like, and then leading you on a path of your own with the crone towards June. A lot of, I, I want to say just about all of the signs are going through some sort of transformation in which they're coming into their own and they're going off the beaten path, at least for those of you that I'm channeling for, 
that seems to be a central theme here for you guys. So let's get into specifics. Starting with January, we have perception. Now, to me, what I'm getting from this, what I'm channeling from this card is the fact that you are working to see things clearer. You are able to see things clearly, uh, more clearer than you have in the past, potentially. I feel like for some of you, there is a specific situation in which um, you're really going to be taking a good hard look at it. You're really going to be, you, you could either be forced to open your eyes to this, um, but I don't see it as that way for most of you. I see it as really as your Libran balancing the scales type energy is what's going to help you work to expand your perception here. Yeah, okay. So with that said, let's get some clarification on this now. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for January 2019. So perception here. And this perception, for some of you, it's really going to be leading to opening up of your higher centers, your higher chakras even, um, your extrasensory perception. And I feel like actually in December, some of you are are really going through that. Now this is being recorded in December. And so like at this very moment as of recording this, I feel like a lot of you are already going through some sort of some sort of higher center awakening. And um, so once you get into January, you're going to be going through more and more of that. And I really feel like a lot of you are going to be awakening to um, some extrasensory perception, however that resonates with you. Let's get some clarification here. Queen of Swords. <laughs> Talk about perception, but also that's you, Libra. Wow, wow, whoa, okay. You got some serious cardinal energy going on here. You've got the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I mean, first of all, you are the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords represents Libra and energy. All right, so you're showing up here, um, and that's that's a depiction of you in the there it is the Minor Arcana, and then you have the Ace of Wands here. All right, underneath the deck you have the Hermit. And actually, the Hermit is kind of a card that represents a new perspective, a new perception. Um, I really feel like you're getting into some serious balance here. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the world. Yeah. And the Ace of Wands. The only thing you don't have here is the Queen of Cups, which is interesting. Where there is a whole lot of cardinal energy here for you. So obviously with the Queen of Swords, you definitely have energies of perception here. Seeing things clearly, cutting to the chase, like not really trying to waste any time. I really don't think any of these, any of these queens are trying to waste any time, to be quite honest, you know? Um, the And it's it's very interesting because this is a great way to, I would say, to balance the Queen of Swords energy with, or to at least temper. Now, it would be even better if you did have the Queen of Cups here, but emotion really isn't needed too much because I feel like at the state that you're in right now or at this moment in time, Libra, the state that you will be in, your emotions are already kind of in balance and driving you here. But what you're focusing on is the, the, the cutting to the chase, okay? The nurturance and the passion, all right? between the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. And then there's definitely some passion here with the Ace of Wands. And I really feel like you're going to be moving in a brand new direction because you do have a completion here, all right? And that completion is helping you to understand something differently. And then you're very much on an introspective level, that's for sure. Some of you may be taking some time away um, 
to, to, to remove yourself from society, from the hustle and bustle. I mean, it is right after the holiday season, so you might just want to spend some time alone. But this alone time is going to help you clear up and expand your perception as well. I really do feel like many of you are going to be moving in a brand new direction here, depicted by the Ace of Wands, all right? So then we move into February, and for February, you have wisdom. Now, this perception that you came into for January, this perception that you were working with, um, this expansion of perception is really leading you in a place of wisdom, is putting you in a space where you can um, acquire some new wisdom here. Now, the wisdom card does look like the hermit, okay? And that's really what hermit energies are about. Um, you know, finding your own inner light, finding your own inner wisdom and allowing that to shine through, okay? So let's get, let's get some clarification because I really do feel like this perception is leading you to a deeper sense of wisdom. All right. And January, and to be honest, January and February is, are kind of looking like a month of some sort of hermitage. Some sort of inner journey that's helping you balance some other aspects of yourself. Okay, here we go. Some clarification for wisdom for the month of February. For Libra, please. February 2019. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Temperance, okay, and underneath the deck you have the moon. So it's very interesting. These are kind of troubling cards, but it's not, I'm not seeing them as troubling. I mean, it's not that troubling, to be honest. Between the Nine of Swords and the moon, um, there could be a situation, you might be going through a dark night of the soul here, not gonna lie. Some of you may go through a dark night of the soul around February. It may be brought on, it may be catalyzed in January by this perception that you may be expanding through um but all of this is even though I, it seems kind of troubling between the nine of swords and the moon yes you do have this potential for um a dark night of the soul type situation but ultimately you also have temperance and the three of pentacles now the three of pentacles talks about entrepreneurship and teamwork yes but here to me it's speaking to uh, efforts towards self-mastery, especially with temperance. Temperance is the alchemy of two, two completely opposite energies and combining them into one. And you see those butterflies there? It also represents transformation. So this wisdom that you've acquired through this perception that it was taken, that has taken hold of your month of January, now into February, you have this wisdom. Th there's a massive change going on for you. Okay, and it will, it most likely could feel like a dark night of the soul for some, if not all of you. Uh, well, I'm not going to say all of you, but, you know, they're, they're, the chances of you running into a type of dark night of the soul situation um, are, pretty, are pretty likely. But what I'm really getting here, even if it doesn't actually manifest as that type of extreme situation, you're still learning through the darkness, okay? The, and I'm getting that from the moon. Um, you're, you're, you are seeking the light within the darkness, which is absolutely helping you find, gain some wisdom, okay? Excellent. So now, in the month of March, you have thought, okay? And actually, I do want to read a little bit of this card here for you. Okay. Thought. Keywords, thought, reality, power, attention, focus, attraction, positivity, negativity, universal law. Key phrases. Thought creates reality. Thought is the foundation of consciousness. Don't rush your thinking. Be certain. Thought is energy. Energy flows where attention goes. Be mindful of the universal laws. Our conscious and unconscious mind in accord. Be realistic instead of optimistic or pessimistic. Good and bad go hand in hand. Change your mind, change your life. Do not overthink or speculate. Question the critical mind speak. 
So now I really feel like this is putting that wisdom into place, um, finding, uh, finding balance within this wisdom, tempering the positive and negative experiences that you've been going through. Um, I feel like in March, you're gonna be coming out of this state of wisdom and just reflecting on it a lot, a, a lot. And for you, Libra, that seems to be uh, pretty normal, pretty par for the course. Like this feels, this just kind of feels right for you. You know what I mean? Instead of, cause it's, it's not like you're kind of hitting the ground running. Uh, the King of Wands wants to keep coming out for you for some reason, but I feel like you have some sort of passion. You could, okay, look at that. Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, the Hanged Man and the Two of Wands. And now underneath the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. So there is the Queen of Cups, all right? The Queen of Cups shows up by March. You did all of that work in January um, with the Queen of Swords, Pentacles, and uh, uh, Wands. There was a transformation that that went that you went through in February with wisdom and trying to maybe potentially going through a dark night of the soul. And now as you emerge from that, you emerge as a new emotionally strengthened being here. Probably also way more intuitive than you were when you started out the year, okay? That's highly that's highly highly likely with the Queen of Cups. You have Justice, the Hanged Man, 8 of Pentacles and the 2 of Wands. So you could be coming uh, through um, out, out of this wisdom phase into this thought phase in March and needing to make a decision. But I do see you have reached some sort of enlightenment. Now, you've either reached it and now you're, you're really giving it some thought, obviously, or you are in this limbo, this hanged man state in order for you to really process what it is you went through. But either way, justice is being served for you here. Now this is you, Libra, justice. This is officially your card here in the major arcana and you're doing the work. You're doing the work to process what it is you've recently learned, what it is you've recently uncovered and came to terms with and or, excuse me, came to terms with, and now you have a decision to make. You um, you progressed really because the ace, you got the Ace of Wands in January and now in March, you have the Two of Wands. So it, at, by this point, I would say that you're definitely ready to make a decision about how it is you wanna proceed given all of these things that you have experienced okay all the wisdom that you've acquired that leads you into april okay and april is a month of abundance for you <clears throat> so all of this wisdom that you've acquired and uh all the time that you spent wow look at that all of the time that you spent in um giving it good thought and trying to understand it now you now you're in a really abundant state okay this is the beginning of some really abundant phase for you. And look at that, 10 of pentacles. Underneath the deck is the queen of swords again. There you are, again. <laughs> so yeah, lots of feminine, and, oh boy. Okay, so abundance here, we've got the, all right. So the nine of pentacles, three of swords, five of pentacles. Some of you may deal with a breakup during this time. Um, you could be coming into, Here's the hermit again, yeah. So, okay, and underneath the deck, you've got the page of pentacles. I really do see that some of you, now it's an interesting message here with abundance, but some of you may go through a breakup. You may become single, but this is actually a really good thing because ultimately, if you lose something at this moment in time, this being April, right? Yes, this is April. If you were to lose something during this time, it's only for the purpose of allowing you to replace it with something better. Nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, okay? Now, um, don't worry about feeling left out in the cold or anything like that. This is, but see, this is the lesson of the month, abundance. Even though something may be taken from your life at this moment, it doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to manifest something much better here. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. So this may throw you back into a little bit of a Hermit stage. Also, for some of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo, but, and Virgo does come right before your sign, but, <laughs> um, what I, I just, I, I, the repeating message here is 
something will be ta- something is going to be leaving your life that is going to be making space for something brand new or and much better to come into your life and abundance was said to me as i was trying to finish that statement so this i i, I really feel like this is a lesson in abundance how much have you learned here how much of this of your light do you shine here the hermit okay but you're progressing. You're definitely progressing. I mean, you, you're you going, honestly, you have the Page of Pentacles underneath the deck. So to me, that is a new start. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm seeing in the Page of Pentacles, a new start. Something's going to happen. Something could potentially happen. Or maybe this is something from the past that happened that you're finally releasing and letting go of. But you have the Page of, uh, not sorry, not the Page, the Five of Pentacles here. Then you progress from the, you jump. As the Knight of Pentacles, moving forward in your life, you jump from the nine to the 10 of Pentacles, all right? And keep in mind that anything dealing with the 10 of Pentacles, it takes time and it takes investment. This is time, okay? But ultimately you are going to be, ooh, what's this? You are gonna be abundant. Page of Cups, all right? So now we're moving into May, okay? And you have desire. So. You have the, and, that, and that's why the Page of Cups flew out. It was the transition into desire, right? Desire is what is it you truly want? And especially with something that was taken from you or something that left your life in the month of April, um, you know, that leaves you, that le definitely leaves you open to experiencing or coming to terms with or even I hear acknowledging more of your own desires, okay? Which is great. I really feel like it's going to leave you open. And I'm getting an energy of, of understanding in the month of April, understanding the flow of abundance, which really I think could change your perception again. Or, the work that you did in January with your with uh, the new perception that you're acquiring or working towards is allowing you to see something differently once a uh, uh, March comes around and something could be taken from you, but you're learning how abundance flows, right? So now with desire in the month of May, you have the chance to really go after more of what it is you truly desire. Or even still, you don't even have to be going after it at this point. You could just be reconnecting with yourself, with your own desires, right? All right. So now let's get some clarification here for the month of May with desire for you, Libra. Oh, look at that, the Three of Swords has popped out again, but this time it's in reverse. So you're finally letting go of the heartbreak. And what do we have here? The Eight of Pentacles. The, look at that, that King of Wands. So I feel like for some of you, and the Empress is underneath the deck, wow. So I'm getting a few things. This King of Wands has been wanting to come out for most of this reading here. Okay, I've been noticing it every once in a while, but I haven't really said anything about it because it didn't feel relevant. Well, now it feels relevant, okay, for two reasons. One, you are in a period or you are in a state of being able to go after what it is you truly desire. <clears throat> and as the King of Wands, this is uh, Leo energy, but as the King of Wands, it's like, you're fixed, your, your sights are set on it, nothing is going to deter you from that, okay? And, and, and rightfully so, I mean, you worked really hard, Eight of Pentacles, to get to this place where you can finally understand what it is you truly desire, what it is you truly want. And if you don't even know what that com is completely, you have a better understanding of what it is right now. And you're releasing any sort of energies that keep you from realizing those desires or going after those desires with the three of swords in reverse. And you have the Empress underneath the deck, which is talking about abundance, fertility, 
Some of you potentially could realize that you want to get pregnant, maybe even that you want to get married or just have a family. Um, but then also, this other thing that I'm getting with the King of Wands is there could be some, maybe a maybe specifically a Leo or um, just a fire sign or anybody that's really passionate about you, a fire sign being Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. There could be some masculine energy around you that's been buzzing around, like kind of keeping an eye on you. That's kind of the other thing that I'm getting from this a little bit. You know, it's like um, he kept wanting to come forward. But also that could be this energy within you working its way to the surface. And finally, here it is now. And it comes through because of the work that you've done in the past and the work that you're willing to do continuing on forward. Okay. And I, the, the energies, by the time you get to May, and May is springtime, right? And so the Empress represents, you know, it can represent springtime, um, it, uh, birth, gestation, <clears throat> uh, you know, blossoming. So it's like the energies are going to be ripe for you to really take advantage of what it is you've learned in the previous months to put that into place for you to really go after what it is you truly desire. And that's beautiful, Libra. So finally, we get to the month of June and you have Crone. Now, Crone is a feminine energy that is does not... Well, she leads by example, but it's not even like she's trying to be a leader. She's just doing what it is she knows is right. Not what she has to do, but what she knows is right for the situation. We have the Six of Cups here. So um, the crone is someone that is, is definitely someone that uh, walks her own path. Um, she's someone that chooses, potentially chooses not to have children, um, but she's very much honoring ancestral lineage and stuff like that. Uh, this is just someone that is very connected. I'm getting someone that's very connected to the source, to nature, okay. Um, to the cycles of the universe and all that stuff. But this is divine feminine energy also. All right, so you have the Six of Cups uh, soulmate energy, past energy, nostalgia, maybe children. Um, if you are, if this does have to do with children, I believe this could be either your inner child or maybe just working with children in your area. Um, but at, with the crone being someone that chooses not to have children of her own, I don't really see some of you, not all of you are looking to get pregnant. But this is just... I just keep hearing off the beaten path for you. So this could potentially be something that you are reconnecting with from the past or from your childhood. And I'm seeing a, a, a choice, another choice here needing to be made. And with the Seven of Cups, I, I see that also. Options. Maybe come some confusion or chaos. Um, but there's not going to be a real argument about it. I really don't think you're up for discussion here in June. You're really just moving forward with what it is. Um, this is potentially you, Libra, but I see the Knight of Swords as uh, Gemini. Um, and the first thing, and what I'm getting with this Knight of Swords here is that you're just not communicating about it. There's no if, ands, or buts. There's no big discussion. It's very Queen of Swords energy. It's like, no, this is what I'm doing, uh, and I'm going for it, and this is what is right. This is what needs to be done, and so I'm doing it. Very decisive, which is great. Also, I'm getting another, uh, I'm getting some sort of dream come true situation here with the six, I'm sorry, with the seven of cups. And this is a progression from the six to the seven. But ultimately, June is, a, is a really going to, be, I really feel like it's a pivotal month for you on, in this progressive journey that you're going through, Libra. Uh, this is when, this is like your make or break moment I'm, I'm picking up on. And this is really the time, like this is where the fork in the road is approached and you really have the opportunity to make your own way. And that's pretty fantastic. All right, Libra? 
So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to go ahead and email me if you would like a personal look at your uh, upcoming energies. Whether you want to do six months, three months, that is okay. And it doesn't have to be in January. It can be at any time during the year. Yeah. So I wish you all the best in 2019. And I look forward to connecting with you very, very soon. Yeah. Take care. Much love. Bye.